Hej, z tej strony Deko. Jak mówiłem, najpierw pogadamy sobie z Żawikiem, naszym Proteanem. Oni zrobiliśmy tego w poprzednim odcinku, bo już nam się kończył czas antenowy. We've never seen a species with this sensory ability you have. It was common among my people, imparting experience through touch, the chemistry of life. Complicated ideas could be absorbed in seconds. That sounds useful. We evolved as hunters. Reading a thousand details in our environment ensured our survival. I'm beginning to understand the beacons a bit more. Later, we developed technology to harness our ability. Information could be stored in certain objects through touch. Memory has its own biomarker, its own chemistry, as do knowledge and skills. The beacons could remember these things. Things like Reaper invasions. Yes, I can still sense the turmoil in you, witnessing the extinction of our empire. The fabric of your being was forever marked that day. So could you read something about this room? There was liquid, a form of incubation, the DNA of a Krogan who lived here. He was powerful, prone to violence. I'm impressed. His name was Grunt. And if he were my enemy, I would have given him a wide berth. There is great strength in his genes. What was your civilization like? There's been a lot of speculation in our time. We are dead now. What does it matter? Where you come from tells me something about you. When I was born, our empire was already at war with the Reapers. The first thing I remember was seeing my planet on fire. What was your civilization like before the Reaper attack? We were the dominant race of our cycle. We ruled the galaxy. We've never heard much about other species of that time. We were one empire composed of many subjects. All eventually called themselves Prothean. What if they didn't want to? They weren't given a choice. Are you saying you enslaved the other species? Any could oppose us if they wished, and if they had won, they would have ruled. Many tried, none succeeded. We didn't imagine your kind being that harsh. It was by necessity. Very early we encountered the dangers posed by machine intelligence. They rebelled against us. We've had the same problem. They're called Geth. We could not allow the machines to surpass us. It was decided the only way to win was to unite all organic life within our empire. Did it work? For a time. The Metacon War. We were turning the tide. Until the Reapers arrived. Then we understood machines had surpassed us long ago, in ways we could never imagine. Back on Eden Prime it looked like there were other stasis pods. What happened? The Empire had fallen, and we knew our cycle was lost. We were the final vanguard, the best soldiers left alive. So more of you were supposed to survive? Yes. Under my leadership, a new Prothean Empire would have arisen. We would have commanded the races of your time to prepare for the next Reaper invasion. But traitors within our ranks, indoctrinated agents, betrayed us, and the Reapers discovered our plan. Just out of curiosity, how would you have commanded us? By leaving you no other option. You would have joined our army, or faced the Reapers alone. We've uncovered quite a few Prothean ruins. Were you observing our ancestors? Before the war, we cultivated species who showed potential. Eventually, you would have been offered a choice to join the Empire. But when the Reapers attacked, we ceased all study. We hoped they would see you as too primitive to harvest. Well, thank you. I think. Is there anything more you can tell us about this device your people were trying to build? We heard only stories. They said our scientists were constructing a great machine that had the power to defeat the Reapers. You never saw it? By that point, the Empire was smashed into pieces. None of us knew what the others were doing. What can you tell us about your own war with the Reapers? Many of the details were lost. The conflict lasted for centuries. Those that faced the Reapers in the beginning were long dead when I was born. There were memory shards, however, passed down from soldier to soldier. They gave us fragments of what happened. 
Several years ago, we found a Prothean VI that called itself Vigil on the planet Ilos. He was the caretaker of a research project. During my life, Ilos was only a rumor. It was said we had cities there, built on the ruins of a civilization before us, the Inusanum. If our scientists did have a research facility, whatever they were doing was secret. Vigil mentioned the facility went dark so the Reapers wouldn't find them. The scientists eventually went into cryogenic stasis. More of my people survived? No, but they did stop the Reapers from taking control of the Citadel in this cycle. It delayed their invasion. I never saw the Citadel. It was captured long before I was born. How did your people wage war against the Reapers? Attrition. We fought them system by system, planet by planet, city by city. Entire worlds were sacrificed just to slow the Reapers down. Time they spent harvesting a population was time we could regroup. That must have cost you in the long run. Yes. Our own people would be indoctrinated, converted, then turned against us. But there was no choice. Mercy is not a weapon. It is a weakness. Why do you think your own cycle lost the war? What had been our strength, our empire, became a liability. All races conformed to one doctrine, one strategy. The Reapers exploited this. Once they found our weaknesses, we could not adapt. The subservient races became divided and confused. Then, it was only a matter of time. With any luck, that isn't the case this time. The galaxy is still diverse. Then it may be your only hope. Nothing more. Commander. No, dobra, to my już trochę więcej wiemy. O proteanach, o tym wszystkim, co się tam wydarzyło. I możemy przejść do Centrum Informacji Bojowych, sprawdzić, gdzie mamy jakąś... Na jakąś kolejną misję. Tu mamy terminal osobisty i mamy maile do nas. Nadawca, partnerzy informacyjnej sieci informacyjnej Przymierza. Przedstawiciele Przymierza potwierdzają, że miejscowy ruch oporu zdołał wyprzeć siły Cerberusa z Eden Prime. Cerberus zaatakował Eden Prime z nieznanych na razie przyczyn i rozpoczął okupację kolonii. Ciągłe ataki zjednoczonej populacji zmusiły jednak wojska Cerberusa do odwrotu. Przedstawiciele Przymierza wysyłają tam teraz transportowce, które ewakuują ludność zanim do kolonii do otrążni wiarzy. Zawdzięczamy to zwycięstwu Przymierzu, głosi oświadczenie dowódcy ruchu oporu Edwarda Kraba. Ludność Eden Prime zawsze była gotowa do walki, ale to dzięki informacjom Przymierza zdobyliśmy narzędzia konieczne do pozbycia się tych dranich z Cerberusa z naszej planety. Wielu bojowników twierdzi, że planuje zaciągnąć się na służbę i wspierać Przymierze. No. I co my teraz mamy jeszcze? Proteański obelisk. A, to my to nie robiliśmy tego. Priorytet Palawan, Laboratorium Cerberusa. Czy my to robiliśmy? Jeszcze raz. Otchłań dzierzby. To jest Eden Prime, to wyjdziemy z orbity. Tu mamy jakiś wykrzyknik, o co z tym chodzi? Dobra, to nie chodzi o zasoby. Chodzi o znalezienie punktu na planecie. Pliki z proteańskimi danymi. I mamy 100% zasobów. Jak to teraz działa? To jest utopia. Ale nic innego więcej nie widzę, więc... 
na razie ja bym tam to zostawił. Bo tutaj nie widzę stacji paliw. Ale w sumie wiecie co? Chętnie bym zobaczył. A, tak samo dużo paliwa zżera. Aczkolwiek tu mamy Asgard. Wiecie co? Podlećmy sobie, zobaczmy o co tutaj chodzi. Na powrót jeszcze mamy paliwo, więc... Signal confirmed. Okej. Okay. Już nie wiarzę. Czyli co? Gra nas będzie zachęcała do tego, aby powracać do układów za jakiś czas. Trochę mi się to nie podoba, bo ja lubię zrobić układ na 100% i z niego wyjść po prostu. Jakiś bor. Kurczę, tu sobie też się przydał jakiś mod na to skanowanie, bo jak widzicie zajmuje to sporo czasu i jeszcze trzeba wiedzieć mniej więcej o. A dobra, mamy tutaj wskaźnik, więc nie jest tak źle. No, zapomniałem o nim z przywyczajenia. I jeszcze mamy wrak do pozyskania. Pozyskano 250 jednostek paliwa. No to wracamy do przekaźnika masy, bo tam to samo akurat już nie wiarzę, więc. Może nie być za fajnie. I chyba po prostu musimy zrobić skok. Turyjanski Prymarcha. Tutaj nic nie mamy. Tu też nic nie mamy. Tam jest laboratorium Cerberusa. Tu jest Tadela. Łanie wiesz, bo to ja nie widzę, albo jestem ślepy. W sumie wiecie co, ja jeszcze bym wyszedł. Kotański obelisk. Ale coś więcej, gdzie jest ta otchłań wierzby? Piorytet Palawan. Co my tutaj mamy? Uratuj Prymacha z Księżyca Palawanu. Trochę tak mało szczegółowo otwań wierzby, ale chyba nie mamy dostępu do niej. Może tutaj ja po prostu sobie skoczę i zobaczę co tam mamy. O, jest to co paliw. Możemy sobie uzupełnić paliwko. O. Dobra, to chyba nic nie mamy. Nie, wiecie co? Zrobimy chyba ten turyjskiego prymarchę. To jest początek gry, więc pewnie i tak nie mamy wiele tych wszystkich zadań do zrobienia. O, i tutaj też mamy. Stacje paliw, dobrze wiedzieć. Dobra, to skanowanie to ja poszukam jakichś modów, bo ja widzę, że to będzie dla mnie męczące. 
A wolałbym ten proces jakoś usprawnić, więc coś się zobaczy. Idzie Liara, idzie James. Dwanaście punktów aż dostaliśmy. No to lecimy. Więcej obrażeń w głowę. I co my tutaj mamy jeszcze z namrożonym celem ze wszystkich źródeł? To jest fajne. Riara ma 4 punkty. Damy jej. Osobliwość. I Jamesowi. Dajemy umocnienie. Przylatujemy gdzieś na planetę. Oh no, no, Palavin. We have an old friend there. Holy hell, they're getting decimated. Strongest military in the galaxy, and the Reapers are obliterating it. Was it like this on Earth? Yes. Shepard. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Commander, the LZ is getting swarmed. James, open that hatch. Ah, Jakie to są takie nudne mopki, że mi się strasznie z nimi nie chce walczyć. Oj, shiftem się biega w innej grze. I kredyt na wpadły. Nie wiem, czy będziemy tam chodzili, czy nie będziemy. Tu widzę, że możemy podejść. No i ciekawe, od czego zależy ten wymiar żniwiarzy. Skoro są większe i mniejsze. A, ten faktycznie gigantyczny. My tu chyba po Garusa, albo do Garusa. Tu będzie chyba cel misji, bo są drzwi. A ja jak przystał na eksploratora, to szukam jakichś różnych zasobów, żebyśmy je zgarnęli, żeby się umocnić. Ja jakoś tak mam takie coś, że lubię na początku gry jak nie szybciej się umocnić, żeby później cieszyć się z tej postaci, jaką się zrobiło, bo po prostu nie lubię grać. Ostatniego fragmentu gry umocniłem 
postacią, gdzie godzinkę taką pogramy i nie ma jak się taką takim bohaterem nacieszyć. Raport polowy. Znajomość terenu jest tu naszą jedyną przewagą. Na wiele się nie zda, jeśli ciągle będą nas zalewać kolejnymi falami wojska. Utrzymamy ten obszar tak długo, jak się tylko da. Połączę transporter z systemem monitorowania oznak życiowych ze skafandru oddziału. Jeśli przestanie nadawać, przyszliście tu jak najszybciej nowy oddział. Tu są Turianie, ale to jeszcze nie jest to, co bym chciał. Zmienię wykonek dalej, wypostać. No, a na razie to zgarniemy i nic więcej. Tam widzę, że chyba tam mamy pogadać. Odszukaj dowódcę. Ale nam nie pokazuje, w którym konkretnie miejscu. Sejmitara dostaliśmy i mamy jakąś modyfikację, czy coś w tym design. I tu mamy kolejny datapad. Komandor Hexnar, sprawie zaopatrzenie. Przysłali nasz sprzęt zimowy. Nie wiem, co ich zdaniem mielibyśmy z nim tutaj robić, ale i tak powinniśmy chyba dziękować duchom. Ogniwa zasilające można przynajmniej przerobić tak, żeby napędzały jednostki wyrytmujące naszego sprzętu bojowego. Miło będzie, kiedy wreszcie przestaną się zapychać. I tu tylko mamy... Tam tylko był zestaw medyczny. Tu coś mamy. I możemy modyfikować bronię, tak? Czy jak to działa? Myślicie, modliszka, powiedzmy. Ok, powiedzmy, zatwierdziliśmy. Chyba nie mamy. Dobra, na razie tak to zostawimy. O, lepsze nie ma to do pistoletu. No to trochę tutaj fajnych takich rzeczy upchali, ale... Tebestik, get your men up on that north barricade. Yes, sir. Sergeant Bardas, find a way to get that comm tower operational. Sir. General. Commander Shepard, heard you were coming, but I didn't believe it. General Corinthus. I've come to get Primarch Fedorian. Primarch Fedorian is dead. His shuttle was shot down an hour ago as it tried to leave the moon. That's gonna complicate things. How bad is it, General? We just lost about 400 men in half an hour. We set up camps on this moon as an advanced position to flank the enemy. A sound strategy, just... Irrelevant. Exactly. The sheer force of the Reapers seems to make them immune to that sort of tactic. The Primarch and his men found that out the hard way. I'm sorry. I hear he was a good man. And a friend. He would have been an outstanding diplomat. So what happens now? The Turian hierarchy provides very clear lines of succession. Right. General Corinthus? With such heavy casualties, it's hard for me to be certain who the next Primarch is. Palavan Command will know. However, at the moment, contacting them is impossible. The comm tower is out. Husks are swarming that area. We can't get close enough to repair it. Don't worry, General. I'll get your tower operational. Thank you, Commander. I'll take care of things on this end. All right, let's go. Talking spokojnie na wojnę. I see the comm tower. 
To the left of the main barricade in front of Palavin. Let's go! Oj. Tu nic nie było? Chyba nie. No to możemy iść już na akcję. A, tutaj mamy, ok. Czy to jest ta wieża? No i gdzie te zioł zombiaki? Ja ich nie widzę. O, są. Siema zombie. I znowu mi włączyli amunicję mrożącą. Twój za to tak fajnie działało, że zapamiętywało. Co ja mogłem na początek poszukać od policja? If you can keep husks from climbing up behind me, I'd appreciate it. Here they come. Ready, James? Hell yeah! Let's take them. Robiło jakieś czytpaki malutkie czy coś, żeby chociaż minimalnie się unieść. No to już wracamy. Ale dziwne, że od nowa. A nie. W sumie nie dziwne, że wspieramy od nowa zespół. Skoro byliśmy na jakimś więzieniu czy czymś w tym rodzaju. What have you got? As your partner said, succession is usually simple, but right now the hierarchy's in chaos. So many dead are MIA. I need someone. I don't care who. As long as they can get us the Turian resources we need. I'm on it, Shepard. We'll find you the Primarch. Garrus. Vicarian, sir. I didn't see you arrive. At ease, General. Good to see you again. I thought you'd be on Palavin. If we lose this moon, we lose Palavin. I'm the closest damn thing we have to an expert on Reaper forces, so I'm advising. James, this is Garrus Vicarian. He helped me stop the collectors. He's a hell of a soldier. Lieutenant. Good to see you too, Liara. Good to see you in one piece, Garrus. General Corinthus filled me in. We know who we're after. Palavin Command tells me that the next Primarch is General Adrian Victus. Victus? His name's crossed my desk. Know him, Garrus? I was fighting alongside him this morning. Lifelong military. Gets results. Popular with his troops. Not so popular with military command. Has a reputation for playing loose with accepted strategy. What do you mean? 
on Tatris during the uprisings. His squad discovered a Salarian spy ring about the same time the Turian Separatists did. Rather than neutralize the ring, he fell back. He even gave up valuable fortifications which the rebels took. Then the rebels attacked the Salarians, and when both groups had worn each other down, Victus moved back in. Didn't lose a man. Bold strategy. But wild behavior doesn't get you advanced up the meritocracy. Primarch Victus. That should be something to see. You think he can get the job done? We both know conventional strategy won't beat the Reapers. Right now, he could be our best shot. And I trust him. Okay, let's get him on the shuttle and get out of here. Commander! Shepard, come in! Can this wait, Joker? We're in the middle of a war zone. We've got a situation on the Normandy, Commander. It's like she's possessed. Shutting down systems, powering up weapons. I can't find the source. I need the Normandy standing by. We may have to bug out. Should I go back and take a look? Do it. Garrus, you said you were with Victus this morning? Yeah, but we got separated. He went to bolster a flank that was breaking. Could be anywhere out there. We're trying to raise him, Commander. Incoming Harvester! Headed for the airfield! General, tell Primarch Victus we'll rendezvous here. In the meantime, let's go take care of whatever that thing dropped off. Coming, Garrus? Are you kidding? I'm right behind you. Oh, fajnie, że Garrus dalej lubi snajperki, więc to jest git. James, is that you breathing so hard? Atmosphere's a little thinner than I'm used to, is all. Pasa startowego. Wow, co to nam wybuchło? O, mamy ulepszenie karabinu, magazynek zwiększony. A to jest nasz. A już nie wiem, że coś już porobili z Turianami, tak? Chciałbym się przeżyć tym. I think we're done here. Potworką, ale niestety gra nam na to nie pozwala. Czy my coś tutaj jeszcze znajdziemy? Ale chyba nic, więc możemy tam wracać. Oj. Nie tędy. A mogą to być zintekronowani trujani, nie? Shepard, come in. Go ahead. Still trying to raise the Primarch, but we've got trouble back here at the main barricade. If the Reapers breach it, we're done. On my way. Główna barykada i nam dają. Naciśnij S, by wyjść. Ok. A ty. No was picie ich, nie? Najgorzej się prąd przegrzewa. Ale 
czyścimy dalej. A, nie się grzewa, tylko amunicja się kończy, bo ja po 50. Kurde, tak jest to nawet dział, kurde, tylko 50 amunicji. No słabo trochę, nie? 200 najmniej powinno być. Tarcze naładowane. Ale strzały w głowę robią swoje. Should be pretty quick unless we find trouble. Garus, now show me how to get through the bush. Damn it! Look at Palavin. That blaze of orange. The big one. That's where I was born. That's rough. Still have family there? My dad. A sister. How bad is it? Three million lost the first day. Five the second. How's your military holding up? Look around. That should give you some idea. You're putting up a good fight. For now. But how long does it take before the fight's kicked out of you? If they'd only listened to your warnings about the Reapers, we might have been ready. Maybe. Hard to figure how you prepare for something like this. Arus, what the hell is this? A, tu jesteś. A, nie chcieli słuchać. Marada, przymierza i tak dalej. No to się zrobiło, co się zrobiło. Teraz mamy walkę ze żniwarzami. Pełen zapas amunicji. Ok. Głupie zębiaki. Ktoś? It's gonna be bad all over. Leaving the fight just pisses me off. But you're here asking Victus to do the same thing. Leave the fight to make nice in some boardroom. This summit is the only chance we've got. None of us is beating the Reapers alone. Soldier, you okay? Yes, sir. We'll make it. Have you seen General Victus? Half Raczej chyba nie przeżył. Ale 
idziemy dalej. Wojna to wojna. You really think this summit will work? I mean, Asari? Salarians? Where's the Krogan and Batarians? Where's the meat? It's not that easy. The Batarians took the first hit when the Reapers arrived. Not much left of them. And the Krogan have never forgiven us for the genophage. Right. Turians sterilized them. Salarians came up with it. And the Krogan hate them both for it. So they won't be joining us. Too bad. I fought with the Krogan. They're tough sons of bitches. Kroganie, historia starożytna. I te genofagy non stop. Ale jak będzie nas ten przyjazny krogani awansował w stanowisku, to być może zagłosują. Bo miał gdzieś tam dość duże znaczenie, jak pamiętam, dwójce. Jak on miał? Kurczę, zapomniałem. Sporego nie mieliśmy, rzadko go widzieliśmy, więc... Okej, double time! No Reapers taking this Primark from me! Right behind you! Mamy oczyścić obóz. W końcu jednego było można się przyjrzeć. Czy to jest ten... ...kus, gdzie przed niedawno byliśmy, czy po prostu one są tak bardzo podobne, że... ...nie idzie odróżnić? Nie no, nie może być ten sam. żeby się więcej dowiedzieć. No i tu mam... Tu mój aspekt eksploratora się nazywa, bo bym chciał jakiś fajny fan znaleźć. A wychodzi na to, że... O! Coś jednak mamy. Co to jest? Nie chcę z tego strzelać, bo jest... Noszą bronią. Ej, faktycznie mi to nie daje na kroganie? Znaczy nie kroganie, tylko turianie? Przeładło i szapardzi i nie wzgłupkę mi. Jeszcze mamy... Idziemy na dół. I pójdziemy tu od prawej. I źle zrobiłem. Mogliśmy pójść do lewej. General Victus. Yes? I'm Commander Shepard of the Normandy. A commander. I know who you are. I can't wait to find out what brings you out here. Vicarian, where did you go? Heavy Reaper unit on the right flank. 
I believe your exact words were, get that thing the hell off my men. Appreciate it. General, you're needed off planet. I've come to get you. It will take something beyond important for me to leave my men or my Turian brothers and sisters in their fight. Fedorian was killed. You're the new Primarch. You're needed immediately to chair a summit and represent your people in the fight against the Reapers. I'm Primarch of Palavan. Negotiating for the Turian Hierarchy? Yes. I've spent my whole life in the military. I'm no diplomat. I hate diplomats. What makes you think you're not qualified? I'm not really a by-the-book kind of guy, and I piss people off. My family's been military since the Unification War. War is my life. It's in my bones. But that kind of passion is... deceptive. Can make you seem reckless when you're anything but. War is your resume. At a time like this, we need leaders who've been through that hell. I like that. You're right. And honestly, uniting these races may take as much strength as facing the Reapers. See this devastation, Primarch? Double that for Earth. I need an alliance. I need the Turian fleet. Give me a moment to say goodbye to my men. Without him down here, there's a good chance we lose this moon. Without him up there, there's a good chance we lose everything. Look at that. And they want my opinion on how to stop it? Failed CSEC officer, vigilante, and I'm their expert advisor? Think you can win this thing, Shepard? Yeah, I don't know, Garrus. But I'm sure as hell gonna give it my best shot. I'm damn sure nobody else can do it. For whatever it's worth, I'm with you. Welcome aboard. Are you ready, Primarch Victus? One thing. Commander, I appreciate your need for our fleets, but I can't spare them. Not while my world is burning. But if the pressure could be taken off Palavan... That's a pretty tall order. We need the Krogan. I can't see us winning this thing without them. Get them to help us, and then we can help you. The Krogan. Looks like your summit just got a lot more interesting. The Asari have been down this road before, Commander Shepard. But, Madam Counselor, let me... I tried to smooth things over with the Salarian Dalatras. To say she's upset would be a monumental understatement. Some of these issues are hundreds of years old. Time to let go. Sad to say, but any effort to ally these disparate groups seems doomed to failure. And I'm sure you understand that we cannot afford to waste time with the Reapers knocking at our door. This must be my final word. I'm sorry, but the Asari will not be at your summit. Our alliance would be stronger with the Krogan. You need them. We all do. I wish you luck, Commander. Goodbye. Commander, Admiral Hackett's available on VidCom. Z Admiralem Hackettem może jeszcze byśmy pogadali i byśmy wtedy mogli zakończyć odcinek. A nie, to są zasoby wojenne, przymierze i tygiel. To wiecie co? Ale w tym miejscu zakończymy jednak odcinek. Więc grał z wami dyku, zostawcie łapkę w górę, zostawcie komentarz, zostawcie subskrypcję i widzimy się w kolejnym odcinku na kolejnych przygodach Szeparda. Hej, hej!